Zipnik pulling away and coming to center. Zipnik trying to feed it in over the line. It's knocked down and tipped out again by Ninema. Up to Lindros. We smell it. Taking him over the line. And this didn't take long, 26 seconds when the fireworks begin. Get Lindros away. Now here's a play as Lindros starts slashing away at the Buffalo bench. And watch Brad May. Watch, watch May here. Bang, bang. And May escaped, I believe. I don't think Dvorsky was watching when it happened. Around at his check. Across it comes to Coffee. Coffee will dribble it in over the line. That'll be knocked down. Chipped ahead, but here's the player. Cookie shot. Rebound score on the rebound. Renberg scoops it up and taps it in. He's going to put it out via blue line. Now over. Drops it back to Plant. Plant comes it into the corner again. Barnaby is all tangled up with his check. Sabres holding it in with Plant trying to stop it into Barnaby. He's grabbed. There's a penalty coming up here to Zubris. Now Lacroix comes over to a line to Coup de Gras. Barnaby. Here's Matt Barnaby doing what he does best. He gets his elbows, his gloves up, and finally draws the penalty. And right here, there could have been another call. It should have been, perhaps, two minutes for roughing. Or close lining. Or close lining. <laughs> Barnaby again drawing a penalty and there's the call against Lacroix and there's the spear as Cordic cruised by Barnaby and put him down to the ice. Cordic didn't get any oh, penalty did. but the Sabres were also penalized on the play along with Lacroix and Barnaby is in there as well so there's no power play and that was called long after the first penalty. Well I think uh, like I beg your pardon, Lacroix ended up getting four minutes, so the Sabres All right. will indeed be on the power play as it's a double minor. Right. Right. Fordick, yep. Fordick ends up with nothing, and he's a guy that cruised by and speared Barnaby. So Matthew Barnaby continues to do his job. And is now going where? To the Buffalo. I'm getting a little confused here. He's going to the Buffalo. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't get a penalty. Maybe it's the only penalties to Lacroix. Barnaby was sitting in the box. I beg your pardon. Now he is going to the Sabre dressing room. So in any event, it is a Buffalo power play for the face-up in the Philadelphia zone. And Dvorsky is having a tough time gaining or keeping control of this hockey game. Lindros is in the penalty box for goaltender interference. When it comes to Terrian, over to Deschamps, with Sean Shields makes the save. Terrian keeps it in there. Good again, Quad. Right on the line, another rebound. They score on the rebound, swirling around from behind the net was Terrian. Of course, <laughs> doesn't take much to get these guys going. Everyone's always fighting for the advantage. We get away at center, feeds it up ahead, that went all the way to the corner, Ray in there. And Ross Sloboda, and on the icing, and Ray is going to get a penalty here. So, 
when we come back here to the Marine Midland Arena, it will be the Philadelphia Flyers on the power play. Squirts free as Ray uh, applied a little extra shove to Peter Swoboda. And Peter's saying, hey, I used to be your buddy. Remember me? And Dvorsky says, I don't particularly care for, for that one, Robert. <laughs> but Ray. Ray's saying, I don't really like your referee uh, either. <laughs> just, I don't really care what you think, right? <laughs> pulls away out of the on the wall. It's about free. Bring the board. Swoboda catching up with the first, and this will be an icing coming up against Buffalo, and now Ray and Portic way back inside the Buffalo zone, and the Lions win comes spinning back to get between them. Well, partner, there's an example of what happens in the playoffs. In the regular season, I guarantee you the two players would have dropped their gloves and fought it out, but they don't want to take a chance at getting an aggressor and getting lost from the hockey game and hurting their team. This is Rob Ray attempting to keep the puck in uh, at the blue line. And Cordick drills him into the Buffalo bench. Ray knew he was going to get tagged there. He, he gave himself up. Uh, both players are trying to draw the other one into a fight. Well, it's not so serious anyway, before, partner, because you, you, if you're the aggressor, you don't get thrown out of the game anymore. Up with a 10 out of misconduct, you could. that's true. But again, they, no one wants to take that aggressor penalty and put their club into trouble. So, not much fighting going on in the league these days. Sliding it back, Shannon's pass ahead to Shatan. Shatan coming in over the line, left it there. Shannon carries on. Shannon got it to Ward. Look at the front of the net, they should be scored. to center. Galley knocks it down, sails it across on the other side. Ends up at center ice. Bootner kind of smack it back in again and does, and Groshek got all tangled up with his check, and now we get the battle joined, or the would-be battle joined. Well, Mike Groshek playing a physical game here again tonight. He tossed a couple of flyers down and then challenged Eric Lindros. And of course, you know that Matt Barnaby is going to get his nose in the middle of it, and he did. And now Desjardins and Galley are having an earnest conversation and a little whack at each other. Now, Matt Barnaby is playing a strong game here tonight. I, I noticed a number of... Well, now we got Lindros... There's Lindros and Barnaby. They are over at the Buffalo bench, and everybody forgot about them, and they're both getting penalties. And now LeClaire knocks down Barnaby on his way by. And Barnaby may have embellished that a little bit. Meanwhile, Bugner is doing everything he can to try and get at Desjardins, who is just taunting him. Well, Eric Lindros suckered Barnaby in front of the Buffalo bench. And I know there are a lot of people upset because Matt Barnaby is doing a lot of yapping in this series. But Matt Barnaby only knows one way to play, and that's to yap and play hockey at the same time. Now, there's a shot that Lindros gives him. I know the press this morning was questioning Ted Dolan about Matt Barnaby. Was he going to tell him to shut up? And Ted says, absolutely not. Why should I? He says, that's the way he plays. And Matt Barnaby has got the Flyers going again tonight. He had him started in game one. Bodies going down. That's where Groshek challenged Lindros. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know who Barnaby's looking at because he must be a Philadelphia fan or something because the other, the flyer players have already been excused and gone to the dressing room. Those who are being penalized, Lindros, Desjardins, we'll, we'll see how this all washes out. And I'm sure Barnaby will, too. There are only 33 seconds remaining in the period. That's why they're being told to go to the room. And Brad May finally 
figured out a way to stop the big fella. That's the way you do it right there. He separated him from his hat. Look at this play. See how close Swoboda is to Shatan? He will not give him the blue light. But when you're a talented offensive player like Shatan, you believe that you can beat that defenseman. This is Brad May and Dykos as May stood him up. Not going to be a, doing what he does so well, getting involved. He knocked Otto down to the ice, and Minima didn't like that. But a faceoff will take place to the left of Garsnow. Let's look at this play again as this turnover occurs in the zone. And there's the shot by Brindamore that is stopped by the goaltender Garsnow. Good save. Sure was a good save. And then Snow gets out of there and goes behind the net. And that's just a reaction as the puck comes in on your stick and you're trying to shoot the puck into the corner of the rink. You almost shoot it in the corner of your net, but it didn't happen. Brindamore, with two goals in game one of the series. These are these players leading goal scorer with five. This is drilled around to the board. Dog kept it in, but now Lindros coming away to center. Lindros, who over in center ice? He got leveled by Holsinger as he fired it in. Come around to the boards, and now the stick's coming up with Audet and Lindros. It's cleared in the other direction, and the Philadelphia Flyers have increased their lead in this series to two games to nothing. 